सर एस बी संगड़े वर्किंग एज असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग के आई डिस्कॉज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग वी आर डिस्कसिंग द कोर्स एडवांस एटोम वर्ल्ड डिजाइन एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग यूनिट नंबर वन दैट इज रिक्वायरमेंट स्पेसिफिकेशन इन प्री प्रोग्राम स्टेजेस एंड इन दिस लेसन नंबर थ्री वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ ट्रीम्स ओके देन नाउ बिफोर गोइंग फॉर नेक्स्ट स्लाइड वील डिस्कस वॉट इज ट्रीम बेसिकली ट्रीम इज द इंटीरियर ऑफ कार so whenever you enter into car and whatever you observe is basically trims okay so all the plastic parts all whatever you see in car when you enter inside passenger compartment is trim very simple okay so we'll see one by one what are the commodities so what is interior trim uh functional requirements safety features aesthetic must match seamlessly to create luxury driving experience now basically what are these point so these are the requirements so you can see there are various requirements the first one is functional requirement so there has to be some functions for example there are many control inside the passenger compartment so there are sir windows opening closing buttons there are sound systems there are various buttons so there are various controls like there are <clears throat> ac knobs and everything so there are many re functional requirements so that must be seamlessly integrated inside the trim second is related to safety and third one obviously most important is aesthetics so car interior must look good the quality of finish the paint scheme the color scheme uh, the contrast the profile of interiors the touch of that that is uh, the texture of that interior that plays very important role uh, role in aesthetics uh, which is normally perceived as the quality of car if the in interiors are good then people think this as a high quality car so that is the people's perception and interiors play very important role in comfort so if the interiors are not good obviously people will not feel that car comfortable and luxury so all these three requirements that is the functional requirements safety requirements and aesthetics must be meshed seamlessly that means all these three things must be designed simultaneously such that these are meshed seamlessly that means the integration of these three should be very smooth okay and nothing is to be compromised and if these three things are uh, meshed seamlessly then that will give you the luxury feeling of car so people should think that oh this car looks very uh, good in from inside the feel is very good and then only people will like your car so that adds to the comfort and luxury of car so this is what it is now there are various commodities of interior trims commodity means various parts of interior trims so obviously the first one is instrumentation panel second one is central console then next one is door trims then pillar trims overhead trims seating trims floor carpet and trunk trims so basically you can see here door trims for example means all the plastic parts which are connected to door or pillar trims mean all the plastic parts which are connected from inside for a and b in c pillar overhead trim is for example the interior plastic part which is uh, attached to the roof of that particular structure so obviously this name itself indicates that where that particular part is located okay we'll discuss all these things in detail uh, before going i just talked about various functions obviously everyone understands that the interior one of the functions of interior trim is to provide various functions to the car like controls and everything again it should look good that is also very obvious but i will ask one question to you how can you just tell me you can pause this video and just think on the point that i am asking you how does interior trims play role in case of safety what is the role of interior trims in safety you can pause the video and you can search the answer how does interior plays important role in safety what is the relation okay you can pause and you can search the answer i will go ahead okay now uh, we'll see one by one in detail instrument panel uh, you can see this is instrumentation panel so you can see this particular part here so just in front of steering so just i have marked that that is instrumentation panel so uh, this is the panel that is also called as ip instrumentation panel where all important parameters are shown for example speed speedometer is there there is one tachometer which tells you the rpm of engine there is fuel meter how much fuel is uh, there in your tank diesel or petrol whatever it is there uh, in in addition to this there are various sensors related lights like oil level indicator temperature indicator what is the coolant temperature there is one engine light uh, switch there is one light which indicates whether your high or low beam is activated there is one 
a particular light which tells you whether your signal is in, uh, turn signal is indicated so whatever you are observing so this particular central region is called as instrumental panel where all the things are uh, all the parameters are measured and meters are fitted in this particular ip that is instrumentation panel then next one is uh, topper pad and dashboard so this is the dashboard you can see the here is the dashboard uh, if you just remove this take out of that assembly it will look like this so before fitting to the car the actual part looks like this this is obviously the plastic polymer part it is not metallic part nowadays because of weight reduction so dashboard is the front member just below the front glass so whatever you observe when you enter the car at front is dashboard so this is plastic part which supports and covers most of the controls you can see there is one opening for instrumentation panel there is one opening for maybe for LCD cover, there is one opening for the compartment, there is one opening for knee bolster and so on. So this is the plastic part and there are openings for AC vents here and here. There is one opening for digital watch or clock. So basically this is the main central part uh, that is dashboard which is directly connected to BIW at the firewall. Then next is a cluster. As, as I discussed here, cluster is the actual part uh, where the meters are provided. I just talked about that instrument cluster. So this is for example speedometer, this is for example tachometer. On this side, on this side there is, just wait a minute. This is the engine coolant temperature or it can be fuel level indicator and so on. So this is instrumentation cluster. Then this is the glow box. You can see here the glow box is shown. Uh, glow box is the small compartment uh, which is used normally to place or hold casual items like documentation, cameras, mobile phones, keys, uh, any other miscellaneous items. So this is a small luggage compartment. Uh, you can see it is opened here and everyone out of we have seen this. Uh, this is the main function obviously but secondary function is there which is related to safety uh, and that is in case of collision this must absorb the energy and protect the knees of the passenger who is sitting in front of that. So this is all about glow box. Then second one is knee bolster. Uh, just like glow box uh, to the side of the driver just below the steering wheel there is again small compartment but this trend is not there in Indian car most of the Indian cars do not have this uh, knee bolster but in European and American country there is again small compartment shown like there in India normally there is a flat uh, plain polymer part or panel only there is no uh, compartment as such but it is there in coming in many cars right now but traditionally there is there is no compartment in India uh, for driver side. So that is knee bolster. Again the function is to protect the knees of the passenger in case of collision. Then LCD screen. So obviously this trend is rising nowadays day by day. Most of the cars have <coughs> full functional LCD displays. Uh, it is multifaceted. It can be connected to navigation maps, uh, rear cameras, FM radios and so many things obviously. Then steering wheel. Obviously most important function of steering is to steer but there is one another function as far as interior trims is concerned and that is to hold the airbags. Uh, this is very critical because you know uh, keeping or fitting the airbag within that particular steering is challenging uh, because the space is very limited and within that very limited cavity uh, the designer has to fit the entire airbag and that airbag must be deployable and therefore this is challenging and due care is taken. Then IP finisher, veneers and deco trims. You can see uh, in many cars there are some finishers. The function is to improve the aesthetic appeal of the car. These are the veneer or uh, chrome plated like structure. Okay, you have seen that many in many cars. So the main function is to improve the aesthetic appearance. Then HUD head up display. Now this is new feature coming in car. This is traditionally available in European, Northern European countries like Scandinavian countries. Uh, but in India, this trend is recently started. Not many cars have this. So in addition to LCD screen, there is one small projector just beyond the steering wheel, which projects the screen on front glass. You can see there is small projector here, which projects the screen on front glass. 
idea is that driver normally gets distracted when he observes the LCD screen because LCD screen is not exactly in front of him that is at, at some side. So if continuously driver sees that he may lose the concentration. So the idea here in uh, head up display unit is that the screen is projected exactly in front of driver. So without distracting driver can see the instructions or whatever he wants to see. It can be navigation again and same. Uh, so this is semi transparent obviously this will not hamper the transparency of the glass. On that glass itself the screen is transmitted. Uh, this is coming to India day by day. So this was all about. Uh, in next uh, unit we will continue. So thank you for this.